let's say you are working on a project and you get the raw data from the customer so let's say here uh, this is the team data you get it from one of the team but when you are seeing this data some of the informations are missing okay here some of the person age is not mentioned and if you pay attention here in a diet type column some of the users diet type is not mentioned so how you will handle this type of missing value in power bi hi this is krupali from know how academy so let's start with me so let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video in this video you are going to learn how to deal with missing value in power bi using dex function so here what you need to do uh, so first of all let's load the data into the power bi and i already load this data uh, this is the name of the data gym and if you just go there here you can check it out this is the missing information you may have a question if we keep this missing information as it is what can be the problem so let me tell you if you do not clean this missing value what will happen in your power bi when you deal with data and when you are drawing with the chart okay so let me go to the report view and here i am displaying uh, some information of user as well as age using a table chart so here i am taking one table chart and in this table chart i am displaying the person name also i want to display user id okay i don't want to display count so i want summarize only and here i am displaying the age of the person now see here when you see, uh, scroll down your data you will not able to see some missing information although missing information is there now let me go here and we can say that user id 2 age is missing so if we go to there and here user id 2 information is not displayed although user id 2 is there in data so now see here when you display this type of information in table chart you will not get data or the data is not displayed or let's say here if you uh, don't use the sum of the age but instead of that if you do not use don't summarize here you will able to see this okay now here one blank row is also there and here you will able to see this information so how to deal with that when we want to display data this type of blank value is not good in power bi so how can you do that so first of all here in column we can say that some of the value is missing and here the entire row is blank so how can you deal with that so let's say first remove this blank row so let me go to transform data and here uh, let me go to the gym data okay this data source changes that's why it is showing an error but we, we don't want to focus on fitness data we do want to focus on gym data and here you can see the null value is there so here you can see select that remove top bottom alternate duplicate or remove blank row so i'm removing blank row and close and apply so here blank row is removed but how to remove this blank value and how to deal with that blank value uh, so here first of all let me show you the problem let's say i'm finding the average age of the person so let me just uh, take a card chart and here in card chart first of all i am displaying the total of the age so some of the age is 1618 and here in another card chart i am displaying the average age of the person so let me display the age here and this time instead of sum i am selecting average now here how many users are there so if we keep attention here we can say there are 50 users although we are displaying the uh, uh, sum of the age and average age is correct but let me check whether that it's mathematically correct or not so let me take a calculator now let me just find the age of the person so let's say age of average age of the person we can find out the total of the age divided by, divided by number of the person so 1618 is a total age and divided by 50 so here our age average age is 32.36 but here we are getting 36.77 actually whatever data we are displaying it is correct or not that is a question mark here why 
because if we divide it by 50 we get this much value but here power bi shows 36.77 what is the reason for that because when we display the data or when we display the average information in power bi it will eliminate the blank value so here we first need to find out how many blank values are there so if we just manually calculate i know that how many blank values are there there are six blank values are there so if we instead of dividing it by 50 if i divide it by 44 why 44 because total 50 persons are there but out of 56 percent do not mention their age so that is blank value okay so let me just find it the correct uh, average by dividing by 44 so 1618 divided by 44 if i do this i'm getting this correct answer so what power bi do automatically when we find an average age it will eliminate the blank value but let's say if we do not want to eliminate blank value we want to find the average age of the person total person so total person is 50 so we want to find the average age of 50 so here this way it will not work out so how can we find out that so first of all wherever the missing values are there we need to replace it by zero okay zero means uh, it not mentioned or we can say that whenever the missing values are there, we want to replace it with the average number of age. So first what we will do, first we will replace it with the zero and then let's see, we are getting correct average or not. Okay, so what we need to do, so in Power BI there is one function, that function called as a call as function. So what is the job of call as function? Call as function will return first blank value and you can replace it with the given value. So how you can do that? So to do that, first of all, we need to open the Power BI. And as we know that we already load the data. So we are going to create one new column and the name of the column that will be updated age and that age will contain zero where blank value is there. So right click on that and click on new column and here I am writing updated age as a name of the column age equal to then you need to write call as c o a l e s c e call as then you need to mention which column name you are referring to find out the blank value okay so let me just write it the gym and age and Whenever blank value is there, I want to replace it with zero. Okay. And here, let me just execute it. And here, you can figure it out. Whenever this uh, blank values are there. So here, in a second user ID, uh, age was not mentioned. So here, zero came. So I think six zeros, uh, we already replace it. So you learn how to replace blank value with the zero using a call as. Okay. So here... Now, let me just uh, update it, okay. So, here instead of this age, I will not display the original age, but I will display updated age. So, here updated age information I will display and you can see that whenever the blank was there, it is returning a zero. Now, let's find out the average, whether we are getting correct average or not, okay. So, let me just remove this and here drag this field and instead of sum i want to display the average now you are getting the correct average i hope you get how to use call as function in power bi now call as function is not useful for only replacing the value but sometimes if we uh, don't want to replace with zero but we want to write uh, something that is age not mentioned, some text value inside that. This type of thing also we can do with the call as function. Okay, so again, I am uh, adding one new column for your understanding purpose that uh, gym, right click on it, new column and here update age column 2. Why I am writing 2? Because I want to uh, show you the second way of writing that. So call as then age information and whenever blank is there what we want to do? We want to replace it with that not given and complete the bracket and execute. Now see expression that will data tab cannot be used with the defined calculated column. Why? 
because here the data type of the age column is numeric and we want we try to assign the text to value inside numeric so that's why it is not correct okay why because it's a numeric if it is a text data then we can do that so here let me go to table and let it be check it out what is this so you see it's a wall number so if we change it to text then we can do it so i hope you get it how to do with the colors now the second thing is that uh, we want to deal with uh, text data or text column using colors function how can we do that so here you can check it out that here there is one column called diet type now in the diet type column here some of the values are blank so we want to display uh, not given whenever the blank value is there so how can we do using a call as function so right click on it click on new column and here write update uh, diet type equal to then what you need to write again call as function and then you need to write the name of the column so that is activity level and what you want to replace it with the blank so not given okay not activity level here i need to write diet type okay so you can check it out whenever the blank value is there it is replaced with not given okay so you can use call as function but you need to keep in mind if you are replacing blank value with the text then the original column data type must be text and let's say if you are replacing with some numbers then original column data type number should be integer so here uh, we done with the call as function to scenario now the third scenario is that when you are dealing with the blank value so it is not always good idea to put zero why because see in real life when uh, any person age uh, who is coming in uh, gym they, their age cannot be zero so whenever uh, blank values are there in original data i want to replace it with the average value of that this is actually a correct method of replacing the blank value if i am not saying that zero is incorrect but re, you need to check the reality test also before replacing the value so how we can do that so to do that instead of writing a zero let me just do it originally let me do it in the column so we have already uh, write it here zero i want to replace it with the average age so how can we do that so i will write dex function inside a call as function so average then uh, i will write uh, data set name and then age and let me just execute it so it is replaced with that so i hope you get it and also uh, sometime what happen uh, when you are replacing actually let me go uh, here the average age is 37 but actually if you go back in this video right average age was 32 point something so why it is not displaying because we perform average on original column so that's why it is not uh, giving a correct but here how the age average is calculated non blank value so it will sum up the non blank value and divide it by only the number of row which do not contain blank value so that's why you are getting this so if you are getting something in a fraction also you can use round function so this way you can deal with the values using a call as and you can also deal with the text data missing text data using call as now you may have a question in power bi is there any function that can deal with the blank value or null value also yes there are other functions are also there which can deal with some value but the output of that value may be different so in power bi one of the function is is empty function is empty function is also work with blank value but that blank value do not consider it as uh, that blank value is not for particular row column or cell type but it is checking that whether the table is empty or not so what is the meaning of table is empty or not so see when you go to that data you will able to see that some of the columns and row and whatever the uh, values are there you can check it out but if you uh, see that data table it is not containing anything so 
by every time by clicking it manually we cannot check it out but sometime when we are calculating something we want to check it out whether this table contain data or not if it is not contained then we need to display some message so how can we do that so to do this what we need to do we need to take one measure and then we will check it out now remember here we will take measure why because we want to know whether the table contain data or not so true or false only one value so that's why we need to create a measure right click and click on new measure and then here is empty uh, data we are taking it and then we want to write is empty and then we want to write a name of the table uh, that is data and click on correct sign so it's executed now let's take a card chat and here we will check it out is empty and here we are getting true why because it contain data but let's say instead of true or false we want to display a proper message that the table data is not containing any value so how we can do that so click on that again and here one logical function is there that name of the function is if function so if then we write a condition so it's our condition we can check it out then what if it return true so it we will return that data is not there and if it is false then uh, we check it out uh, we will uh, display a message that data is there and complete the bracket and execute it so you can see that data is not there so generally true or false is not understood by the user who is looking to the uh, your visuals or your dashboard so from end user perspective we are displaying proper message in that so that is a job of is empty function now one more function is there in a power bi that function is called is blank function now let me show you directly practically what it will do so let me just go to this uh, gym data and right click and here this time i'm creating a new column okay and i will show you what's the effect of if we take it new column or if we take it as a measure okay and here i'm writing again i'm checking on age okay updated age is blank then we write a name of the table and then and let's see what it will do see upgrade already james so column name is already there so here i'm re re uh, giving another name so update age 2 now see what it will return it will return false and true based on whether it's an empty value or not so here you can check it out uh, in original age column first john smith mentioned his age but emily uh, do not mention her age so here you can see that false and true true means yes it's empty so here uh, let's say here instead of column let's check it out whether we can create a measure or not so let me click on that and click on new measure and here i am taking a uh, test and then write is blank and gym now see here it's not coming so if you are directly uh, taking a measure and try to apply is blank it will not work i hope you understand how to use is blank function in power bi so now you may have a question that when to use is blank when to use is empty and when to use colas so let me tell you the when to use that function so whenever you want to check it on entire table whether the table is blank or not so at that time you need to use is empty function now you want to check it out on individual row and you want that answer that uh, that that uh, row contain blank value or not or that particular cell value contain blank or not so for that reason you need to use is blank function and let's say you want to check it out if there is a blank value and you want to replace it with something so at that time call as function it's advisable to use i hope you get the idea when to use call as is empty and is blank function thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out us stay curious and keep learning